With me on the line now, is Sam Catalano, Capital Networks Mining Analyst. Sam, good morning. Good morning. We're talking Thor Mining. Uh, give us a bit of a, an introduction, a bit of an overview to kick us off with. Yeah, sure. So Thor Mining is uh, both an AIM listed and ASX listed uh, exploration company, very much focused on the tungsten market, which is a little bit unique. Uh, you, you can't find a lot of tungsten exposure on the equity markets. Um, I think it's fair to say that at the moment, you know, tungsten, in terms of the commodity prices, aren't uh, extremely high, uh, but it, has, it is a market that has the potential to take off. Tungsten is used very much uh, as an alloy with metals to make things like uh, drills, uh, drill bits, that sort of thing. Um, and Thor Mining has uh, a couple of assets which are very key uh, in terms of leverage to the tungsten market. The first... Uh, is <clears throat> excuse me the Molly Hill Tungsten Project in Australia, which is a development-ready project. It's ready to go pretty much. The majority of approvals, all the uh, studies are done. Um, basically, it just needs a slightly higher tungsten price uh, to be developed. So it very much, as I say, this company is one to look at uh, if you do see the tungsten price start to move upwards. Um, so there's that project there. There's also the Pilot Mountain Tungsten Project in the U.S., which potentially could be a very large-scale resource, uh, which they're currently exploring. So two key tungsten assets. And recently, uh, for investors, it's, they've just acquired some lithium ground, so exploration into the lithium space. Lithium something that is very hot right now, uh, very much uh, the focus as we move forward because lithium is a key ingredient to battery technology and as we move into renewable energy uh, and this sort of thing and electric cars so on and so forth battery technology is going to become increasingly important so lithium will be a commodity in demand so a nice little addition that they've made there recently. A nice little addition you say. What stage is that project at? So look, that, that's that's very early stage, and and to be to be to be fair, it, it's not something uh, that that I've looked a huge amount at because it's it's sort of hot off the presses. Only last week they they made this addition, uh, but so far, uh, it, you know, pretend, it looks like something they need to spend a bit of time and a bit of money on uh, to further explore what's there. Uh, so yeah, potentially uh, could be something exciting, but we have to wait and see. So plenty happening, lots of exploration going on. How's the cash position for them? So, I mean, cash position, they're, uh, they're currently got about uh, $2 million Aussie uh, in the bank. Um, they, are, they will probably burn about that am amount um, throughout the course of the year. Uh, so it is a company I think investors need to be aware that might require additional funding uh, over the course of the next year or two, well, should do. Uh, so something to be aware of. But, of course, uh, if the assets are there, and you need to fund them, then it's a good reason to give them money. So plenty, plenty of action by the sounds of it. In terms of uh, upcoming news uh, and milestones, what can we expect? What, what, should be, uh, what should we be looking out for? Yeah, I think the key thing really is to focus on uh, two things. One is the tungsten price. If you do see a move upwards uh, in the tungsten price, uh, then it's definitely one to watch. The second thing is uh, exploration results from the Pilot Mountain project in the USA. Um, yeah, this has the potential to be a very large resource, uh, and I think any news flow coming out of that uh, will be keenly uh, observed. Probably just worth a quick mention, in terms of the, uh, the countries and the environments they're operating in, they're all pretty stable? Yes, and I think you know, that, that's why I mean, a lot of uh, small exploration companies uh, in the mining sector often operate in uh, some, what one might say, dicey jurisdictions. Uh, for Thor mining, you know, you're talking about Australia and the USA, so extremely stable, um, and, and you know, that, that takes a little risk away for investors. Very good, Sam. Sam Catalano there, uh, Capital Networks Mining Analyst, talking through Thor Mining.